Hi everyone. I have to ask you, how are you all doing with this self-isolating? <laughs> it's not funny really. It, it's not funny. But, um, you know, I have to say, self-isolating, where I live, that's like a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> you know I gotta be a little bit silly. You know I just gotta I just gotta do that. But no, this is really serious. But you know uh, I just hope and pray that maybe uh, maybe things aren't as bad as what it seems. You know uh, I mean it's always bad. It's really bad when when people pass away and they die from something. You know. But you know, every every year there there are flus that go around, and uh, you know this kind of thing happens. You know, unfortunately, in this world that we live in, if it isn't one thing, it's another. It seems, but you know, uh, you know, if it's a person's time to go, I've always I've always been a firm believer that uh, when you're trusting the Lord, you're living for the Lord. And he is your Lord and Savior, especially. Um, you have an appointed time to go. I mean, when that appointed time comes, whatever, whatever way that it is, you know, my myself, I would just assume if it's my time to go, it'd be nice if I just went to sleep and didn't wake up, woke up in heaven. But it doesn't always work that way, does it? You know. But. God knows best in everything, but when our time comes to go, well, it's it's going to come, and there's not a lot we can do about it, but, you know, the Bible does say, you know, for the child of God, anyway, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Now, that's, uh, that's quite a promise, you know. That is just, uh, that's, I can't describe how wonderful that promise is. But, um, it has been very serious there, but you nowadays, you know, um, I, I find it's hard to know what the truth actually is. You know, what is the truth? I mean, things that you may hear, it may be true and it may not be. And people that uh, are telling these things, they might actually believe it's true as well. Only God knows the truth. But one thing is for sure. When uh, when we trust the Lord, we don't have to fear, do we? We don't have to fear. And uh, I have to say, I'm not I'm not afraid. You can't even see me at all now. I'm like a silhouette. <laughs> I better turn around, okay? <laughs> I got this fire going in my cabin today, and uh, it's just a very very peaceful place out here. Good place to self-isolate. <laughs> it's not funny, but I, I have to say, you know, uh, I just, I just say that I'm simply going home for the weekend, you know. Or, I, you know, I've been fortunate to be able to keep working because where I work, it's a, it's like a place of isolation. I mean, it's just a very small crew that we have. And we've been able to work just the same, so I just travel to work and back, and that's it for me. So I've been fortunate that way, but, um, you know, it's a, like I said, it's been a very serious situation. My arm's getting tired here, so i got to switch arms. I'm doing, doing my uh, self-camera stand right now. <laughs> you know, on a serious note, my heart really goes out to, to those that... Uh, that have gotten this disease and uh, you know it's taken a lot of lives and uh, I just hope and pray that they know Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior that's that's the main thing that's the main thing but um, I wanted to share this uh, this just this little experience a little thing that happened this last week um, you know the Holy Spirit he's he's with us all the time the Spirit of God is always with us we need not be afraid because he's always with us. Um, 
you know, I was I was reading my Bible this last week, one one evening after work. The book of Matthew, I was reading the things that Jesus taught and what he said. When I got done reading the Bible, um, I just laid it down on my lap and I put my hand down on the Bible and I said, I just simply said this, Lord, I'm so thankful for your word. I'm so thankful. I just love your word. That's what I said. I, I just, uh, it might not be the exact words, but I said something like, I just love your word, Lord. I just love your word. And uh, I tell you what, if I ever heard the voice of the Holy Spirit, I heard him right then. And he spoke this old song to me that I have not heard in many, many years. I know it was the Holy Spirit that spoke to me. And this is what it was. Every promise in the book is mine. Every chapter, every verse, every line. Oh, the blessings of, of his love divine. Every promise in the book is mine. I just, uh, you know, that when after the Holy Spirit spoke that to me, I just rejoiced. I mean, that was, uh, that was just so fitting. I, I just, uh, oh, I thank the Lord. I still got a Christmas wreath on the door. My word, I got to take that off. <laughs> but, you know, you stop and think about it. Every promise in the book is mine. Every chapter, every verse, every line. Oh, the promises... I forgot the words. I put them away here. I like I said, I haven't heard that song in so many years. Oh the oh the blessings of His love divine. Every promise in the book is mine. Well, that includes Psalms 91, doesn't it? Psalms 91. We can claim God's word. We have nothing to fear. We have nothing to fear. Oh, I don't know when the Lord is coming, but one of these days, Jesus is coming very soon. And all of these things are going to be all a thing of the past. It's all going to be a thing of the past. And uh, I'll come inside so that there's uh, someone going by with a four-wheeler or something. But um, all the promises in God's Word... You know, I've been trying to make it a habit to to read God's Word every night and to study, study all the more. You know, I don't think there's any better way to spend your time than to study God's Word and to pray. But, oh, God is so good. Try not to be afraid. Try, try not to be afraid because, uh, you know, I just can't get over how quickly that the Holy Spirit speaks to me sometimes. He'll speak to you too. You know, I'm not. Uh, I'm not like. Uh, I'm not like one of God's favorites or anything like that. He loves everybody the same. He loves us all the same. And uh, I love Him so much. I, I just love the Lord so much. But He loves you too, and and uh, you listen closely, and He'll speak to you. You know, when you. When you feel down and you're discouraged and you know the best thing that you can do when you're feeling down is to start to read the read the Bible and pray, but start to thank the Lord for for whatever in your life, everything. Just thank him and to praise him and to worship him. No matter what things look like and no matter what you're going through. And, you know, you'll find that uh, all of a sudden the Lord will speak to you. And uh, it's just sometimes it's hard to recognize. I find it very easy now because he's spoken to me so many times through the years. But I, I knew this last, this last week here that uh, that song that came to me, I, I couldn't remember that song for nothing. I never would have remembered that song.
but every promise in the book is mine. I had to share that with you folks because uh, it's true every every promise in God's word is ours. Every every promise in the book in God's word is ours. And we can claim that. We can claim God's promises for us. And uh, and when you uh, when you thank the Lord, no matter what you're facing or whatever you're going through, you just keep loving the Lord and keep trusting in Him, and listen closely. And a lot of times, the Holy Spirit will speak uh, an old hymn or some some song. Anyways, I can't think of anything much else to to talk about, but. Um, you all just keep looking up, and uh, either either Jesus is going to come very soon and take us away from here, or things are going to get better, and uh, things are going to turn around here, and uh, and everything's going to be good again, you know, because God is in control. God is in control, not the enemy, and not the enemy of righteousness. The enemy of righteousness in this world is not in control. God is in control. And his will will be done. We can rest assured. So anyways, on that note, um, God bless each and every one of you. And uh, enjoy this time of, uh, what do they call it? How do they put that again? I call it being home. <laughs> Self isolate. <laughs> you enjoy enjoy your time. I mean how how many times in our life do we have a chance to and you know, we've a lot of you folks we've all prayed for loved ones and that we're concerned about. Well, you know, this has really gotten people to thinking. So God can use what the enemy means for evil and for bad. God always turns it around for good. So uh, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't dread this time too much. Just pray that God will have His will and your loved ones that you've been praying for. I'm sure this has gotten their attention. So you can rest assured it has. Because I've I've talked to different people. This is. This has really gotten people's attention. One picture I like really well on Facebook is all of the missing Bibles on the shelves. I love that. I love that because, you know, Jesus, he's the answer. He's the only answer for this world. This world without Jesus is lost with no hope, no hope. But with Jesus there is all the hope in the world and then some. His hope is out of this world. Our eternal home with him in heaven. Oh my my. Oh we can't even begin to understand how wonderful it's going to be to be with Jesus. We we don't even we can't even begin to understand. But one day we'll see Jesus face to face. What a glorious day that's going to be. But until then I'm going to just keep making videos and I'm going to keep doing for the Lord what I was called to do and I know that you'll do the same. God bless each and every one of you and you all take care until next time. Bye for now.